carpentry joints. Another application concave fillet weld, it is a concave, you can see here this shape is concave by nature and it is a fillet weld. So, two plates are joined like this. So, this fillet is concave, so fillet weld is there, so triangle is the symbol to represent the fillet weld and the surface is concave. So, here symbol of, symbol of concavity is drawn over here above this right angle triangle. So, this is the supplementary joint. Another one is flat single V butt weld with flat baking run. You should learn each word of given designation and pick up each word one by one and then we can draw its illustration and its a symbol. Here flat single V butt weld is given. So, it would be like this upper surface is flat, lower surface is flat and with flat baking run. Baking run is also flat. So, it is a symbol is to be drawn like this. Two lines are there, upper line and lower line. These two line shows that it is a flat surface. Upper surface is flat and lower surface is also flat. Now, we will discuss about methods of representation of welding in engineering drawing. We had discussed about various welding symbols, supplementary symbols and basic symbols. Further exercise also you can do by using various symbols in various uh, conditions. But here we limit our discussion up to that extent and we start with new discussion that is methods of representation of welding in engine drawing. How welding is represented in any drawing? The first this is a line which represents the upper surface of the material like this. Then arrow line is drawn over here like this, the angle may be any and here the symbol of welding process is drawn like this and then after a dotted line is drawn over here. This is the basic welding symbol and here various parameters and various alterations are made to represent the type of welding, its parameters and its processes. This line is called as arrow line as shown over here, this is arrow line. This line is called as reference line, this horizontal line. Then this dotted line is called as identification line as shown over here and this is the welding symbol. So, these four parameters are very important to represent any welding process in engineering drawing. We will learn each process one by one and we will knew, we will know what are the importance of all these four steps. Suppose it is drawn like this, symbol is drawn over here, V is here and again V is drawn over here, this is reference line, arrow line and all this. What is the meaning of this kind of representation? It means that the welding is done symmetrically on both the side. It is used for symmetrical weld. So, upper side and lower side means here in this upper side and here in the lower side. Both the sides symmetrical welding is done. Here it may be V. So, at the bottom side V is to be cut. It is represented by X as shown over here. Now, methods of representation. Suppose this process is represented like this. Dotted line is here and arrow is on this solid line or dotted line is drawn on the above side and symbol is drawn below side. Both these symbols are identical, but what is the meaning of this type of symbol? The meaning of this symbol is that to be welded on arrow side. Here you can see the upper side arrow is there, arrow is here. So, welding should be done on this upper side only if this symbol is drawn over here. But if the symbol is drawn like this, dotted line and then welding symbol or dotted line drawn above side and then welding symbol over here. So, it means what? It means that to be welded on the other side, 
not on this arrow side the welding should be done on another side or on the reverse side of this surface so these two symbols are identical these two symbols are identical but there is difference between the position of this welding symbol if symbol is towards the full line then arrow side welding should be done and if the symbol is drawn towards dotted line then the welding should be done on the reverse side or on the opposite side now basic weld symbols for groove joint here it's a joint not joiny joint this is a basic welding symbol for groove joint here groove joint is made like this cut the section is cut like this here cut is made for this arrow if arrow is shown like this and symbol is drawn over here so the arrow symbol is drawn on the full line side so it's arrow side this side is other side so it's shown over here here this represents other side this represents arrow side this is arrow side so here welding should be done and here welding should not be done so this shape is cut over here and here welding should be done so this is the meaning of groove joint now basic weld symbol for fillet t joint this is a fillet t joint t shape is there this fillet portion is employed over here arrow is drawn over here and the symbol is drawn below this line which touches this full line it means that the triangle is drawn below this line so the welding should be done on this side this is arrow side as shown over here so welding should be done over here as shown over here but if this triangle is drawn like this upper side and lower side on both the sides triangle is drawn like this it means what it means that the welding should be done on both the side on arrow side and on other side here also welding should be done this is arrow side and this is opposite side here also welding should be done and if this is drawn like this this is a basic weld symbol for lap joint these two plates are joined with a lap joint triangular lap joint is there upper plate lower plate is there so draw here arrow like this like this and draw a symbol below this full line as the symbol is drawn below this full line it means that the welding is done towards arrow side over here if this triangle is drawn to the upper side then we should do welding over here now weld dimensions next topic weld dimensions how the weld dimensions are inserted in any drawing because weld dimensions are very important parameter its side length its thickness its penetration how to represent these parameters in the drawing that we will discuss designation of weld suppose first we take butt weld this is a butt weld and the thickness is s as shown over here s is the minimum distance from the surface of the part to the bottom of penetration how to represent this s thickness in v butt weld as it's a v butt weld so symbol of v butt weld is just a capital letter v and nothing is written it means that the v butt weld is done throughout the thickness of this plate if this s is not throughout the thickness suppose it is up to the half distance then that distance should be written over here near by v if the thickness of plate is say 50 mm or 5 10 mm and the groove is made up to 5 mm only then 5 should be written over here near by v now second butt weld square butt weld here square butt weld is there and this is the thickness s the thickness the s is not full not throughout it is done up to certain extent it's a minimum distance from the surface of the part to the bottom of the penetration then it is shown like this it's a square butt weld so symbol is just two vertical lines parallel to each other and s is written nearby this symbol 
it may be 5 millimeter or 10 millimeter whatever distance is there it is shown over here like this then third weld dimension for butt weld is for single v butt weld with broad root face if this kind of single v butt weld is given and the parameter s is given like this it is shown like this a y with the distance s whatever distance is this whatever penetration depth is here that is shown over here by a digit suppose it is 10 millimeter s is equal to 10 millimeter here just we have to write 10 and draw y and all the dimensions should be written in millimeter and at the bottom of the drawing a statement should be written that all dimensions are in mm that we usually practice then fourth one butt weld between plates with raised edges these two edges are raised like this up to distance s as shown over here s is the minimum distance from the external surface this is the external surface of the weld to the bottom of the penetration up to which the penetration occurs so how to represent this distance s in symbol like this it's a butt weld so draw symbol of butt weld and write value of thickness s fifth one that is continuous fillet weld for continuous fillet weld two parameters are important as shown in this diagram first is a a is the height of largest isoscales triangles that can be inscribed in the section and z is equal to side of the largest isoscales triangles that can be inscribed in the section like this so these two parameters are here a and z and in symbol a and z to be inserted like this draw a symbol of fillet weld and write the value of a and z nearby this triangle the value of a and z are generally in terms of millimeter it may be 5 millimeter 10 millimeter or in some cases it may be 50 millimeter or 100 millimeter for thicker objects now weld dimensions let me discuss some cases how weld dimensions should be inserted in the drawing or if drawing is given to us of any welding what's the meaning of those drawings we will do some exercise of some problems which are used in industries like this the first problem suppose the first case is given like this it's a t shape and here welding is done how to insert weld dimensions in engineering drawing suppose the thickness is 6 millimeter and this width is 6 millimeter of this triangle of this fillet if this type of fillet weld is made in engineering drawing we have to represent like this first draw a t shape as shown over here in practice we do not draw we do not draw this triangle over here in practice of welding dimensions we write like this this is the symbol of welding 6 mm is written and symbol of welding is fillet weld is drawn over here that is right angle triangle and the symbol is drawn below this line it means that the welding is to be done towards arrow side means here so here welding is done triangle is drawn over here and 6 mm is the dimension of this triangle so this is the question this is the answer or you may be asked this answer and you have to find out this question suppose this symbol is given to us and we have to interpret which kind of welding is there so we should draw a triangle over here and we should state that it's a fillet weld having width is equal to 6 millimeter and height is equal to 6 millimeter this height is also 6 millimeter now second case suppose weld dimensions are given like this triangle is drawn above this line rectangle triangle and 6 is written over here as an engineer if we are given this drawing how to interpret the meaning of this drawing in actual practice 
its interpretation is like this arrow is here and triangle is drawn above this full line it means that the fillet weld is there and fillet weld is to be done on the opposite side of this arrow so it's like this draw a triangle and fillet weld to the opposite side on this side see here this side welding should not be done this side welding should be done like this and its dimension are 6 mm width and 6 mm is the height so these are the weld dimensions and interpretation of this given drawing now third case how to insert weld dimensions suppose this kind of welding is given fillet on both the side this side with 6 mm height and width and this side also fillet weld with the similar dimension so how to represent this kind of welding in engineering drawing so for that first we draw t shape as shown over here or shape of the object and we draw welding symbol like this here triangle to show the fillet should be drawn on upper side as well as on lower side also because here fillet weld is done on this side and on this side both the sides so triangle is drawn upper side lower side and dimensions of this both the triangles or both these fillets are alike so we should write 6 over here once only here no need to write 6 again because both are similar but in some drawings people write 6 over here and 6 over here also so no need to express but if it is written it's okay fourth case let we take about weld dimensions t shape is there two fillets are there 6 mm is the height and width on this side and on this side height and width are different that is 5 mm so fillets are not alike both are having different dimension how to represent this in engineering drawing so usually first we draw t shape or shape of the section we draw welding symbol but here both the sides fillet weld are drawn are shown so we draw fillet weld symbol over here as well as here both the symbols are drawn on both the sides but here dimensions are different towards arrow side dimension is 6 mm towards opposite side dimension is 5 mm